Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you doing? Good, teacher. Oh, nice. And you? I'm very well, thank you for asking. Okay. I'm happy to be here with you one more day. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yeah. Do you have the flu, Adrian? Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening, how are you? <clears throat> Do you have the flu? Adriana, I heard Adriana. Adriana, uh -huh. do you have the flu? And how do you mean flu? The flu is mm. gripe. Uh, no, teacher. No, oh. I have it. I can see you. I heard uh, you had some problems in your, in your nose. Uh, but, no. I, but I think I didn't hear very well then. So no, I in, haven't, teacher. All right, very good. Ingrid, are you feeling better? Hello, teacher. Hello. Are you feeling better? Yeah. Ya mejor. Are you feeling better? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Yeah. Super okay. bien, yeah. Oh, nice. Very good. Yes. I'm happy to know. Hi, Rafa. Hello. Good evening. Hello, good Darby. evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you doing? Uh, excellent. Day. Good evening, teacher. Oh, nice. Very good. Good evening, Sandra. Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Fine. Oh, nice. It's good to see you again. Hello, Miguel. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you. Very happy to be with you. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Excellent. All right. Very good. Oh, I was... Uh, we have Rafa and Osmi connected with their cameras too, and Margarita. Okay, hello, Rafa and Margarita and Osmi. Hello. Good evening. Hello, hello good evening. Nice to see you. Good to see you too. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, everybody. Hello. Good to, good to hear from you. Moment, please. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I see Angela connected to you. Hello, Angela and Mayra. Oh, good, evening. good evening. How do you feel today? Hi. Very good. Very good. All right, Mayra. What about you, Angela? Um, uh, acabo, ¿cómo diría? Acabo de venir. I, en un, I, I just, I just, I just, he estado en un tráfico de dos horas. Oh my goodness. Yes, I imagine. I just came. I just came. I just came. Okay. I just came home. You can say I just came home. So you can put home. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And... All right. And all right. <laughs> Very good. Um, gusto en verles a todos. Lo voy a yes. decir en español. Compañeros, maestro. <laughs> I'm very happy to see everybody too. You all look so different. Good <laughs> nice to see you. Good to okay, see you too. Thank you. Miguel looking different. Uh, Margarita looking different. You look <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody's looking different. You look younger. All right, very good. Thank you. Uh, all right, very good. So we are about to, to start. I'm very happy to see everybody today. Me siento muy feliz de verles y de encontrarnos nuevamente, okay, to, to run into each other in one module, mm -hmm. one more module, okay. Y creo que tendremos me también, too. ah, me too, somebody was me about too. to, me too. all right, yeah. okay, thank you. And we have new classmates too, all right, so we have, um, I guess it was Joanna, I think. Hi, Joanna. Hi, teacher. Hello, how do you feel? How are you? I'm so nervous. Oh my goodness. No, don't, don't, be, don't be nervous, please. All right. Don't be nervous. Okay. <laughs> okay so, Joanna, it uh, will be a new class, a new classmate. All right. In this case, I have other new classmates, but I don't nice remember. Welcome, Joanna. Welcome, Joanna. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. ¿Qué nos espera ahora ya en este módulo del intermedio? Mm, we have, we have, we have many surprises. 
Actually, actually, we have we have ten exams. We don't, this module. We don't speak Spanish. <laughs> no, no Spanish. I mean, we have ten exams for this module. <laughs> ten exams it's for correct. this module. <laughs> no, it's not true. It's the same, all right? It's the same. Basically, uh, we have four, I mean, two exams, not, not 10, all right? Two exams, the midterm and the final, the same, okay? Maybe uh, the only difference, the only difference is uh, that for this module, we have five weeks, five weeks, oh. not four. Five I mean, not, yeah. yes. Five weeks. Five, five weeks, weeks. cinco semanas. Mm. Este módulo dura cinco okay. semanas, not four. Okay, en not four serio. Weeks. Okay. So that's new. Eso es por... nuevo, that's new. Y eso por qué lo piensas? From Monday to Thursday? No, to Friday, the same. <laughs> actually, actually, this module is 25 sessions, okay? Dura 25 sesiones de dos horas igual, así que tenemos cinco sesiones más para este nivel. Tal vez eso es algo, algo nuevo. La buena noticia es que para, para la primera sección tendremos una semana para completarla, pero para la segunda sección tenemos dos semanas para completar. We have two weeks to complete. Okay? So eso, es, eso, es, eso es nuevo. That's new, ¿ok? Básicamente esa es la única variación okay, en, en esto, ¿verdad? Y claro, tenemos que meternos más a hablar un poquito más de inglés también, por supuesto, ¿ok? Como el nivel ha cambiado un poquito, así que vamos. Igual, yo les, les hablo casi siempre en inglés. También es raro más, que le más exigente. Le Ajá, sí, sí. Entonces, sí, un poquito más de inglés de parte de mi persona y de parte de ustedes, por supuesto. ¿verdad? Y yeah. si no saben cómo decir lo que pregunten. Teacher, how do you say this in English? Teacher or a classmate. Or you can say, Mayra, how do you say this in English? Okay? La idea es que vayamos incrementando vocabulario. Qué nervios. Yeah. Qué nervios, teacher. It's intermediate. So we have some changes. <laughs> nervios. No, it's okay. Just relax. Take it easy. Okay? Just, just enjoy the class. Enjoy the moment, okay? Enjoy the moment and that's it, okay? And do your best, okay? Y siempre dando lo mejor. Always do your, your best, okay? So, um, so I'm, I'm very happy again. I say, I repeat, I'm very happy to see you again in this uh, module. Realmente me siento muy feliz por encontrarles otra vez en este nuevo módulo, ¿ok? A new week, new well, well. station. Thank you very well, much. Igual, teacher. It's a surprise. Yeah. Igual, well, teacher. Ok, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so, uh, so with no more words, let's begin. All right, so I will start with the first step, the attendance, ¿ok? So the attendance is first. So let me start with the attendance. So basically we have two new classmates, right? Uh, we have Joanna, Joanna, I think, yeah. Say congelo. Give me a moment. Okay, give me a moment. All right, I'm sorry about that. Okay, very good. Yeah. I am asking uh, everybody to get all the cell phones disconnected here. So I have no interruption with the internet, okay? Okay, so uh, then let's start. So I will start uh, with the attendance. So please, when you listen to your name, say present, here, over here, I'm here, as you wish, como de saying, as you wish, okay? Ada? Present. Present. All right, Adriana? Present teacher, mire, I have problem with my camera. Okay. So that means you are not going to turn on your camera today. Okay, teacher. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, Anna Michelle. Present. Very good. Angela. Present teacher. Very good. Darwin. Present teacher. Flor. Present. Gloria. Here. Very good. Joanna. Present. Great. Uh, Joanna, just a question. Uh, were you receiving classes the last module? Estaba recibiendo clases el módulo anterior? No, hasta uh, ahora. 
Ah, ¿cuánto tiempo tiene de no tener contacto con el idioma? How long? No, no sé, tiempo. cotidianamente siempre tenemos como ah. que interacción con el inglés, ¿verdad? Pero o sea, de estudiarlo quizás tengo más de un año de no hacerlo. Ah, the most important is that you practice every day. Ok, so that's very good. Ok. That's the most important. Ok, ¿lo urdes? Present teacher. Lourdes eh, sabe que ya no Present. está como, ok, sabe que ya no está como oyente, ¿verdad? No, no sabía, Ticha. Ok, vaya, hago saber <risa> entonces, hago, hago saber entonces <risa> para que, ahora sí, ahora sí toma en cuesta de satisfacción, ok. Ok, Al final de you, teacher. All right, very good. Uh, Margarita. Present. Mayra. Present. Miguel. Present, teacher. Nelson. Present teacher. Ophelia. Here teacher. All right. Osmin. Present teacher. Rafael. Good evening. Here teacher. Very good. Rosa. Hello teacher. I'm on my way from home. All right. Very good. Okay. Sandra. Sandra. Hello. Present teacher, present, all right. perdón. All right. In English, in English, please. <laughs> all right, very good. Ah, uh, Jancy. Jancy. She's not connected yet. Sulma. Present. Very good. Asalia. Present teacher. All right. Hoy soy de último teacher. Ah, no sé si fue que entregaron los documentos un poquito tarde o qué pasó, or what happened. No, fui de las primeras. Mm. Ok, very good. Es bien raro porque me aparece como oyente. No sé si, si, no sé si no. tenía, no sé si tenía conocimiento. No. Ah, ok, va. Ok, if you want, we talk later. Si gustas, hablamos luego, ok. Yes. You text me, please. Text me, please. Ingrid. Present teacher. And Susana. Verdad, verdad, teacher, que ya no estoy como oyente, yo tampoco. Eh, sí, sí, me aparece sí. como oyente, sí. ¿Y ¿Por Vaya, qué? Vaya, solo quiero hacer, solo quiero Susana. Mm. Susana. Vaya, solo quiero hacer eh, hincapié en eso, tal vez. Eh, el hecho de que aparezcan como oyentes no significa de que es decir, de que se pierden todo. No. Lo único que se pierden es eh, la sesión uno a uno, ¿ok? Para que tengan conocimiento, ¿verdad? Porque es bueno recalcarlo. No por hacer sentir mal, ¿ok? O, ojo. No es por esa razón, sino para que tengan conocimiento. No se pierden nada prácticamente. La sesión uno a uno, pero si ustedes tienen ganas o, o les interesa saber de algo, ustedes me pueden escribir al chat. Y con toda confianza yo les, les ayudo en el tema que ustedes quieran, ¿ok? Así que no se pierden la sesión uno a uno, se la pierden aquí, como, se, como seguimos el protocolo, que se quedan 10 minutos al final, pero si usted siente dudas en algo, usted me escribe y yo con gusto le ayudo, así que no hay ningún problema, ¿ok? Así que no se la pierden la sesión uno a uno. Y lo único que no completan es la encuesta de satisfacción, eso es todo. Y ahí todo lo completan. Y ahí todo, ¿Ya? Perdón por la pregunta, pero parece que decían también de que si uno parece como oyente, no, como que no, no tiene como la certificación de INSAFOR. No sé si me, me estoy mal en eso. En, en este caso, eh, si, digamos, si ustedes están en calidad de oyentes, quien les da el certificado o más bien el, el diploma de, del curso, del, del, del módulo, es ID corporativo directamente. No se lo da INSAFOR. Pero, mm -hmm. ajá, vaya. Aquí quiero, quiero decir esto porque es muy importante. Es decir, usted va pasando los módulos. Si usted cumple todos los requisitos, incluyendo asistencia, eh, notas a un 80%, usted cumplió todos los requisitos, usted está apto para inscribirse en el módulo 2 de nivel intermedio, en el siguiente módulo, ¿ok? Y lo que hacen en este caso es que en el momento de que hay un espacio en otro curso, los inscriben directamente para que ya, estén, ya no estén como oyentes, sino que ya estén de forma, 
¿Cómo les explico? Que ya sea en el listado de los 20, porque son 20 los que permite Insafor, ¿ok? Pero mire otra cosa, pero decían, me, a, bueno, a mí mis documentos. No es, no se escucha. Eh, ¿Qué pasó? ¿Documento? Eh, no se escucha, Ingrid. Eh, lo que, perdón, es que estaban hablando aquí fuerte. Entonces, eh, me dijeron también de que a mí mis documentos los habían entregado un uh, super antes. Que lo, o sea, no sé por qué aparezco como oyente. Sí, sí, sí. Es que no, normalmente está un, está un grupo eh, que son como los que están base, digamos, que son los 20 que están de esos. Hay dos que ahorita ya no están como, no, no aparecen en el listado de los 20 y ya han metido a dos más, ¿ok? Que sería a Joana y está también Lourdes. Ajá, pero así en su momento, repito, Ingrid, en su momento, si hay espacio, los van como integrando en el grupo. Uh -huh. Pero ustedes van avanzando de igual manera. Si ustedes pasan, digamos, sí, con, el, con la asistencia de vida y con, permíteme, Asalia, con la asistencia de vida y con... Las notas de vida, si ustedes se inscriben en el siguiente módulo, si hay un espacio, no hay ningún problema, ¿ok? Sí, Azalia. Pero yo he estado de un inicio con este mismo grupo, no entiendo por qué me han puesto de oyente. Realmente tendría que hacer la, la consulta, no sé si es que se, si fuiste de las primeras, no sé, tendría que hacer la, la consulta. Déjame consultar, aunque igual, igual repito, no, no, te, no creo que te pierdas de, de, de mucho, igual, derecho a todo menos a la, a la encuesta de satisfacción, pero tú vas avanzando en los módulos de igual manera que los demás. Pero puedo hacer la consulta, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, very good. Uh, so, do we have any other questions just before we start? No? Ok, very good. So, uh, then let's start. Uh, so, as always... Solamente estoy triste. Oh, me too. Me too. I am sad too, for real. Okay, but let me ask, Asalia, let me ask, okay? All right, very good. Uh, so then, uh, so let's start. And to start, um, well, I have to show you something we always do, okay? I have to show you some information about me. This is part of the protocol, okay? Mostrar por los nuevos que se van integrando siempre como protocolo debemos presentar información acerca de nosotros, los facilitadores, así que lo, lo haré rápidamente. I will do it quickly. And then we go to the next to the next part, okay? Y vamos a la otra parte rápidamente. Okay, uh, so basically, I will, I will try to do it very quickly, okay? Okay, vamos a, so we are going to start. Um, okay, so let me give you some information quickly. Le daré rápido alguna información acerca, acerca de mi persona. Bueno, básicamente eh, tenemos um, el curso que es inglés intermedio, inglés intermedio. Y es módulo 1, ¿ok? Ya no estamos en básico, ojo. Bueno, por aquí, en algo acerca de mi formación académica. Estudié licenciatura en inglés. En programas que manejo, paquete de Office, Moodle, eh, plataforma Moodle, Canvas, Google, Google Classroom, ¿ok? Eso es un poco acerca de tecnología. Luego, acerca de mi experiencia laboral. Bueno, eh, aquí puedo decir que... Eh, trabajé en la Universidad de Oriente como coordinador en una universidad de la zona oriental del, del departamento de inglés. Eh, facilitador también en el programa Superate, facilitador también en ITCA San Miguel e, e ITCA Megatec y también facilitador de cursos de formación docente con el MINED. ¿okay? Eh, eso es un poco acerca de, de mi persona. Eh, bueno, ahora vamos a hablar un poco acerca de los requisitos, acerca de, de este nivel. ¿Ok? Yo sé que siempre revisamos esta información, pero es parte del protocolo que siempre les, les dé esta información, así que lo vamos a ver así un poquito rápido, ¿ok? Eh, bueno, algo importante acerca de ustedes cuando se conectan es que su nombre debe estar eh, completo, ¿ok? Algunos siempre se conectan con dos, con un nombre y con un apellido, así que revisemos eso para que no vayamos a tener mayores problemas, ¿ok? Al momento de conectarse, su nombre debe estar completo, Dos nombres y dos apellidos, si tiene dos nombres o dos apellidos, o un nombre y, una, y dos apellidos, y es así, ¿ok? Así como aparece en el DUI. En el caso de los que están como oyentes, eh, en paréntesis, van a poner entre paréntesis, al final de su nombre, ponen la palabra oyente, ¿ok? Eh, la cámara debe estar encendida durante toda la sesión, como siempre se los pido, solo alguien es que dijo que tenía problemas aquí con la cámara ahorita, fue... ¿Quién fue que dijo que tenía problemas? Sí, teacher. Con... 
Mi teacher, Adriana. Adriana, ok, y ahí los demás, ninguno eh, ha dicho que tiene problemas. Si algunos I, I say, uh, teacher, I say in uh, uh, problem with my okay. camera. Ok, perfecto. En Nelson. Ok, en so yeah. Nelson, en Adriana. Yes? Sí, yes. Teacher, I'm on the way. All right, perfect. It's okay. I'm on the way. Ya, yeah, it's okay. Los que van en camino no hay ningún problema, ¿verdad? Um, bueno, um, algo muy importante también al momento de que, de que estemos conectados, um, si tienen encendido su micrófono, siempre pedir, ¿verdad? Que, que sea un lugar así con un poco de silencio y de no ser así, al momento de participar, enciende su micrófono y lo apaga rápidamente para que no haya interferencia, ¿ok? Con las participaciones de, las demás, de los demás, perdón o con alguna explicación acerca de algo específico. Así que si vamos a opinar, encendemos el micrófono, damos la opinión, si vamos a practicar o a dar una respuesta de algo, encendemos y luego cuando terminamos nuestra participación apagamos el micrófono rápidamente, ¿ok? Eh, de igual manera siempre se pide participación activa, ¿ok? No estarles pidiendo, please participate in this activity, por favor participe en esa actividad, sino que se pide siempre participación activa, que esté siempre esa, esa motivación, ¿verdad? Eh, bueno, vamos aquí. Eh, la asistencia, ustedes saben que se pide 100%. No, pero es el 80% correctamente. Pero vuelvo y recalco lo mismo de siempre. No estén tomando los primeros días para faltar. ¿Ok? Si no es emergencia, claro, si es una emergencia, yo entiendo. ¿Ok? Yo entiendo si que los ingresaron en el hospital o tuvieron algún problema serio algún accidente que primero Dios no pase, por supuesto, pero son situaciones que se pueden dar, ¿ok? En este caso se entiende, ¿ok? Pero si solo no faltó y no avisó, el problema es que al final le puede hacer falta, ¿ok? Porcentaje de asistencia. Pero como ya se tomó los días al principio, al final, aunque haya tenido una emergencia, le baja, ¿ok? Le baja su porcentaje. No, pero es que fue una emergencia. Yo entiendo que sean emergencias. El problema es que Aquí no mido ni, no lo mido yo, ni lo mide inglés corporativo, el nivel de asistencia, sino que lo hace Zoom directamente. Si usted se conecta 50 minutos, 50 minutos le toma como asistencia Zoom y eso es lo que se vacía en el, en el documento de Excel donde va su asistencia. Si se conectó 90 minutos, 90 minutos exactos le calcula Zoom, ¿ok? Y eso es la asistencia que se toma, ¿ok? Así que pongamos mucha atención a eso. Eh, la asistencia no solamente se toma al estar presente, sino también a cumplir con la, clase, con la clase completa, ¿verdad? Es decir, que no solo tenga apagada la cámara y no esté participando. Entiendo, a veces yo sé que están en reuniones y eso es válido, ¿ok? De que se conecten para que no pierdan su asistencia, pero es porque están en una reunión, ¿ok? Y se, dio algo, se dieron algunos casos en el módulo anterior de que algunos estaban en reunión y tenían su cámara encendida, no hay ningún problema, ¿ok? Tenían, perdón, estaban conectados y tenían su cámara apagada. Pero esto no va a ser siempre, por supuesto. Puede ser una vez, tal vez durante todo el módulo, ¿verdad? De ser así. Ok, eh, la asistencia igual. Yo paso asistencia en tres ocasiones. En este caso ya tomé la primera vez. Se toma a las 8 A veces tomo como a las 8 y 3 yo para esperar un poquito, pero no sería lo indicado, ¿verdad? La, lo correcto sería pasar asistencia a las 8 en punto, que a esa hora ya deberíamos todos estar conectados, ¿ok? Por tarde. Eh, se toma tres veces a las 8, 9 y 9.55. Y por supuesto al escuchar que ustedes dicen present, here, over here, I'm here, y tener su cámara encendida, se les pone aquí la, la asistencia, ¿ok? Eh, hablemos ahora de las sesiones 1 a 1 disponibles. Este, ustedes saben que tienen un día asignado, 10 minutos al final de la clase, cada uno durante todo el módulo para que ustedes puedan estar, eh, atender más bien las sesiones uno a uno y se les aclara alguna duda acerca de un tema específico. Y ahora pongamos atención a esa última parte. Permisos no disponibles. Aunque inglés corporativo, aunque mi persona les quiera dar permiso, no podemos. Usted nos informa si pasó algo, por supuesto. Fíjese que no puedo llegar por, por esa y esa razón. Ay, nosotros le dimos, le des, yo le, por ejemplo le digo, ok, eh, gracias por informar porque al final yo no estoy, eh, no puedo decirle, le doy permiso para que falte, ok, no estoy autorizado, mi inglés corporativo está autorizado porque esto de la asistencia lo revisa directamente en Insafor, ellos tienen acceso a este documento, así que ellos lo revisan, así que 
Así que no, no estamos autorizados para dar permisos, ni, ni, ni inglés corporativo, ni mi persona, ¿ok? Bueno, eh, ya finalizando por acá, eh, es necesario el 80% en las tareas, es decir, eh, en, las, en las tareas de cada sección, es importante que al menos lleguen a un 80% y al final deben tener un 80% como nota promedio también de todas las evaluaciones y juntando las, las tareas, que en este caso van a ser cuatro secciones igual que en, en el módulo anterior, a diferencia de que la sección 2 va a durar dos semanas, ¿ok? Va a durar dos semanas. Y de ahí las demás una semana igual que el nivel anterior, igual que el módulo anterior. Ya saben todos que las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma, ustedes tienen su usuario, y el siguiente día, ahí aparece el video de la sesión también, ¿verdad? Eh, bueno, las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. En este caso vamos a cambiar viernes un poquito, ¿ok? Y para la primera sección, eh, la primera semana tendría que ser miércoles, a más tardar miércoles, porque empe estamos empezando día día jueves, ¿ok? Así que no sería viernes, sería miércoles a más tardar. Eh, la fecha límite para terminar el examen medio, hay dos exámenes, sería el miércoles 20 de octubre, en tres semanas, por eso les decía que la sección 2 dura dos semanas. Así que en tres semanas, a partir de hoy, el miércoles 20 de octubre, tienen para completar el examen, el examen medio, el midterm, así les aparece, ¿ok? Y para el examen final o el final exam, Sería el jueves 4 de noviembre, antes de la medianoche, que sería ese día que estaríamos terminando el módulo 1 de inglés intermedio, ¿ok? El manual ya lo mandaron al grupo, me confirman, sí, ¿verdad? Exactly. Exactly, all right. El manual, el manual ya se mandó al grupo, si alguien se agregó después o entró después al grupo, te avisa ahí para reenviárselo, ¿verdad? El manual que vamos a estar usando... O también lo pueden descargar en la plataforma. Ahí aparece manual, aparece una opción ahí en la barrita de herramientas en la plataforma manual y ahí lo puede descargar en PDF también, ¿ok? okay. Y básicamente eso, que no se utiliza material de terceros en ninguna sesión. Es decir, que solo el manual, la presentación que mi persona crea y lo que tenemos acá, los recursos. Esos recursos son los que se utilizan. No puedo, no puedo usar videos que son ajenos, digamos, porque... Eh, puede haber algún problema, ¿ok? Y por esa razón es que no se usan otros materiales, eh, que no sean materiales creados por mi persona o materiales que aparecen en el manual, ¿ok? Eh, bueno. Teacher, ¿sí? si lo reenvía el, el manual, por favor. Sí, por supuesto. Sí. Ok, uh, muy bien. Eh, solo para que, que, para que estemos conscientes, botón silencio aparece como mute. No sé si les aparece en inglés el Zoom o les aparece en español. Es para que tengamos conocimiento de que cuando, cuando vamos a dar una opinión a participar, después de dar nuestra participación, ya silenciamos el micrófono. Ok, o le ponemos mute. Eh, luego la, la cámara debe estar encendida siempre. En el chat a veces haremos algunas actividades. A los breakout rooms, igual pedirles siempre que vayamos a un breakout room o a una sala de... ¿Cómo, aparece las, ¿Cómo les aparece en español ese breakout rooms? Que son las salas como de, de práctica o los grupos. ¿Cómo les aparece en español a ustedes? ¿Cómo les aparece? O oh, así les aparece, breakout rooms. Recuerdo niños. que unirse a pequeños grupos, pero en inglés no, no recuerdo. Ok, unirse sí, sí. Unirse a pequeños grupos. A pequeños así grupos. Sería. Ah, no, digo, digo por si les aparecen en español algunos. O sala, sala. Sala de... Sala. De salas de grupos de salas de grupos, ok eh, sí, solo recalcar acá que cuando se envíe la invitación, algunos no saben identificar todavía dónde les aparece la opción para entrar a esa sala de grupos que estamos haciendo eh, no sé, me confirman ustedes dónde les aparece la opción para entrar dónde les aparece cuando hacemos el breakout room y yo les digo, ok, vamos a ir a practicar dónde le presionan entrar a ustedes, dónde les aparece la opción a veces solo salen de... unos puntitos, teacher, un, unos cuatro puntitos, y a eso hay que darle para que le active. Ah, ok. ¿Pero dónde aparece? ¿En la pantalla principal, en la barra de la herramientas? Pantalla. En, en la, la pantalla. Ah, pantalla en la pantalla principal. Ajá, te okay. que te están invitando Ponga, a unirte a, a pequeñas salas y uno. 
Okay. Le da un píxel. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto. Entonces ahí tenemos, digo, porque algunos todavía los, después de que les, envi les he enviado la invitación, tengo que enviarlos a, a, a los grupos, ¿ok? Porque no le dan, no le presionan unirse a la, a la sala, ¿ok? Muy bien. Es que aparece eh, en la barrita de abajo, teacher, donde dice compartir pantalla. Ahí okay. aparece y dice unirse al grupo. Y cuando usted le, le, le da clic ahí, le aparecen los varios grupos. Grupo 1, 2, 3, 4. Ah, ok, perfecto. Bueno, ahí tenemos más información para que no nos cueste ingresar al momento de que, que, que se solicite, ¿verdad? Y por último, el botón Ask for Help. Si están en salas de práctica o en, sal, en grupos trabajando, a veces yo no estoy en su grupo, pero a veces tienen alguna duda, pueden presionar o hacer clic en el botón Ask for Help y a mí me cae la notificación y yo me uno a su grupo para aclarar cualquier duda que ustedes tengan en su equipo, ¿ok? All right, very good. That's it. I don't know if you have any question about this. Esto siempre se, se da, ¿verdad? Es parte del, del protocolo de inicio de, de módulo. Pero si tienen alguna duda, if you have any question, you can ask your questions in this moment. No questions? Everything is very clear. Like white chocolate or like dark chocolate? It's clear. It's clear, like dark chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> all right okay very good so uh then uh we are going to uh, just let me give you uh the schedules uh for the one-on-one -on -one sessions okay the schedules for the one-on-one -on -one sessions so please take notes please take notes about the one-on-one -on -one sessions okay all right let me share here Ok, vamos entonces a los horarios. Let's go to the schedule. Sesiones uno a uno. Sessions one on one. One on one. Good. Muy bien. Eh, hoy vamos a tener cinco semanas. No sé si se van a repetir algunos. No sé si se van a... Va, va a haber refill, como decimos nosotros. Ok, para algunos. Ya vamos a revisar en este momento. Muy bien. Eh, para, el, para, el, para este día tenemos a Ada. Ok, vamos en orden alfabético, creo. De alguna manera. Para el viernes, para mañana, tenemos a Adriana. Ok, viernes primero de octubre. Ana Michelle, el lunes 4 de octubre. Tomen nota para que tengan ahí el día presente, para que no les esté repitiendo. Ángela okay. de Jesús está el día martes 5 de octubre. Darwin, miércoles 6 de octubre. Flor de María, viernes, jueves 7 de octubre, perdón. Flor, jueves 7 de octubre. Gloria, viernes 8 de octubre. Joana, lunes 11 de octubre. Tienes tu sesión 1 a 1 a las 10 de la noche, de 10 a 10 y 10 de la noche, ¿ok? Eh, Lourdes, el martes 12 de octubre. Margarita, miércoles 13 de octubre. Mayra, jueves 14 de octubre. Miguel, viernes 15 de octubre. Nelson, lunes 18 de octubre. Ofelia, martes 19. Osmin, miércoles 20. Rafael, jueves 21. Rosa, viernes 22. Octubre, estamos en octubre, ¿ok? Sandra, lunes 25. Yancy, martes 26. Zulma, miércoles 27. Y aquí vienen los que se van a refilar, ¿ok? Ok, eh, Ada se va a refilar el jueves 28 otra vez, como ella empieza, se va a refilar el jueves 28. Adriana va a refilar el viernes 29 de octubre. Ana Michelle, el lunes eh, primero de noviembre. Ángela, miércoles 3 de noviembre. Oh, aquí tenemos a Sueto el 2 de noviembre, ok. 2 de noviembre es a Sueto. Es a Sueto Nacional, ¿verdad? Así que Ángela se refila el miércoles 3 de noviembre y Darwin el último día que sería el jueves 4 de noviembre también se refila ese día, ¿ok? ¿Estamos claros? ¿Tomamos nota? ¿Did you take notes? Yes. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Yes, I take. Ok, very good. Yes, teacher. Teacher. Ya. Yeah. Tell, tell me, tell me, tell me, Miguel. Uh, because uh, the days of the refill is used to another to another uh, classmate <laughs> they, i think i think 
uh, for the, I mean, the days of the refill, what? I, I didn't get you. I used it's by, used to the other, the other uh, classmate. The other. I, I, am, I understand, I understand your point. The, the problem okay. is that, the, the problem, Miguel, is that I don't make the list. I don't make the list, they send me the list. Oh. Ah, okay. Yeah, that, that's the, I, I mean, I would like, I, I get your point and I would like to do that. The problem is that I, I don't design it. They send it from Inglés Corporativo and I have to, to stick to it. Tengo que apegarme ahí. I have to stick to it. Okay? That's, that's, that's the, the thing. Yeah. But if I did it, I would do what you are suggesting, okay? Unfortunately, okay. I can't. Unfortunately, I can't. All right, very good. Uh, so I don't know if you have any question before we start with the class. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta antes de que iniciemos. Any question? Bueno, como son cinco semanas, realmente ahorita no sé cómo hacerles el cálculo para ver cuántas sesiones pueden, pueden faltar, faltar, perdón. Pero entender, entendería que no, perdón, que no podrían ser más de, tres, más de tres días, más de tres sesiones. Pero ya en el cálculo ustedes, saquen el porcentaje a las 50 horas, ¿ok? De 50 horas, ¿cuánto pueden faltar? Ahí hacen el cálculo ustedes luego. Que sería el 20%, serían como unas, no sé, no sé si alguien tiene calculadora por ahí para que estemos claros, ¿verdad? Porque esto es muy importante. 20% de 50, ¿alguien me ayuda? Sería un máximo de... 10 horas, teacher. 10 horas, 10 horas. Es mucho, ¿verdad? Es too much. <risa> Entonces yo, como, pero como yo sé que ustedes son buenos estudiantes, no me van a faltar 10 horas, ¿ok? ¿Verdad? ¿O me equivoco? No, okay. Hay tres no, partidos no. de la selecta en octubre. No, oh my goodness, ojalá que no sean a las 8. Ok, but anyways, uh, la idea es, re recuerden, que te debemos tomar en cuenta que son 5 semanas y que a veces... Eh, casi la mitad no se conecta a la hora y esos 5 o 10 minutos o me falló el internet unos 10 minutos, todo eso me va contando así que yo les sugiero de que en todo el módulo traten de estar de, de, si van a faltar por alguna razón, por alguna emergencia que es lo idóneo que falten por una emergencia que no sean más de tres sesiones ¿ok? ¿por qué? porque a veces hay minutos pendientes, a veces se nos va el internet y son cosas que no podemos controlar nosotros Así que traten, si no, porque para mí que no falte ninguna sesión, ¿ok? Para que si tienen algún problema que no les afecte en nada, ¿ok? So, uh, so do you have any question? And as I said, como dije, I know you are such good students, so you are not going to miss any class, ¿ok? Because you are great, great students, all right? So I'm sure you are not going to miss any class, all right? Ok, very good. Uh, so no questions then? If you have no questions, let's begin. No? No, teacher. Everything no, clear? Teacher, thank you. Everything clear? Yes. 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 Ahorita, OK. Ahorita me pueden preguntar en español. Después ya no pueden preguntarme en español. <laughs> I'm, I'm giving you the opportunity, all right? I'm giving you the chance. Sorry, teacher. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, it's not true. It's not true, but try to ask questions in English, okay? No es cierto. No, no se van a quedar con algo solo porque no pueden hacer la pregunta en inglés, no, okay? <laughs> Pero la idea es que intenten, okay? The idea is that you try, okay? That's the idea. All right. Uh, si then... no me va a decir, no le entendí nada, no me dijo nada, me va a decir. <laughs> <laughs> no, impossible. All right, so uh, then uh, let's start with the, with the class. So we have uh, unit number one and unit number one, we are going to talk about uh, restaurants, okay? Restaurants. Do you like restaurants or you don't like restaurants? I like restaurants. You like restaurants, all right. Uh, what kind of restaurants do you like? Fast food restaurants or other restaurants? Fast food, like hamburgers, pizza, or what do you, what, what restaurants do you like? Pizza. Pizza. Fast, fast food. Like pizza. You like fast food. You like fast food. Okay. 
Raise your hand if you like fast food. Do you like fast food? Raise your hand. Ah, come on, only Joanna. Okay, let's see Adriana, Sulma, Darwin, almost everyone, all right? Well, like half, let's say. Okay, Floor. Yeah, I have many people who like fast food, all right? Hello. Now, please, uh, lower your hand. Now, raise your hand if you don't like fast food. If you don't like fast food, raise your hand. You don't like fast food, raise your hand. Oh, Gloria doesn't like fast food. Miguel either. Only Miguel and Gloria. And me. Ah, and Rosa. All right. <laughs> Very good. Well, in, in my case, actually in my case, I prefer other food, right? Other food rather than fast food. So if I have the options, okay, to go to Burger King or, or another restaurant, I prefer the other restaurant, okay? What about you? If you have the options, what do you prefer? Floor? If you have I the prefer, two options, okay, okay. what's me? Yes, I prefer, I prefer the restaurant, the chicken. Other, other rest, ah, chicken, chicken campestre. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or campero <laughs> chicken, all right, very good. All right, so what about you, Floor? If you have the two options, uh, like fast food restaurants or other restaurants, what do you prefer? Um, China work. Ah, China. China work. China work. So you prefer fast food? Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. Very good. Uh, so let's see, Rosa. What do you prefer? If you have two options, do you prefer fast food or other food? I prefer other food, but my kids all the time pizza. They Burger. always ask oh for pizza. Oh my god! Yes. My Oh my yes. goodness, I imagine. <laughs> what about you? Um, let's see, lower this. What do you prefer? In both teacher for me is very uh, delicious other food and fast food. All right, so it depends on which restaurant is closer. Okay. Yes. All right, very good. I like it, very good. Uh, what about you? Uh, let me see, Michelle, what do you prefer? I prefer other restaurants. You prefer other restaurants. Yeah, me too. I yes. prefer other restaurants. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, listen, here I have two photos. All right. I have a presentation and I have two photos. Okay. So, listen, look at the photos. Okay. Look at the two photos. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. Okay. So, please. Take a moment, look at the two photos, at the two pictures, and I will give you three minutes, okay? In three minutes, write vocabulary about picture number one and about picture number two. All the vocabulary you can, todo el vocabulario que puedan, okay? So in English, of course, okay? So write vocabulary about picture number one and picture number two, vocabulary, not sentences, vocabulary, okay? For example, food, vegetables, fork, woman, I don't know, all right? So just write vocabulary about what you see, okay? Are you ready? Yes. yes. All yes, right. Teacher. Okay, let me take the time. Three minutes I said, right? So in three minutes, write vocabulary about the two pictures. Ready, steady, start. Mm -hmm. Let's start. Okay, start, please. I'm not saying sentences, I'm saying vocabulary, okay? Words, waitress, smile. Mm. Man. How do you say mesero? How do you say mesero? Waiter. Well, Waiter. Well. Waiter.
you can make only one list of vocabulary for the two pictures, okay? Make only one list for the two pictures. Don't separate like the lists. Make only one list. It's okay, no problem, okay? Thirty seconds left. Thirty seconds left. Ten seconds left. Time is over. Okay, stop, please, everyone. Stop. All right. Please stop. Okay, stop writing vocabulary. Stop lower this. Rosa, please stop. Very good. Okay, uh, so I imagine uh, that in this moment, uh, you have a big list of vocabulary. All right. You have at least, uh, you need to have 10 words. Uh, who has 20 words or more? Who has 20 words or more? 20 palabras o más. 20 words or more. Nobody? In the two pictures, teacher. Yeah, for the two pictures. Uh, Who has more than 20 words? More than 20. Who has 15 or more? 15 or more? Me. All Me, right, very 15. good. Adriana, who else? Floor. Me. Okay, Joanna, Sandra, very good. Okay, that's excellent. Who has 10 or more? Okay, uh, Gloria, very good. Rosa, uh, okay, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah, Flor, Miguel. Who has uh, less, okay, less than 10 words? Menos de 10 palabras, less than 10 words. Miguel, I don't think so. I think Miguel has more than 10. Uh, less than 10 words, nobody, right? Okay, listen. Uh, so right now, uh, the idea is that we go in groups, okay? We go to, we make groups, and then you share the vocabulary with your classmates, all right? For example, imagine I practice with um, Asalia and Osmin. Imagine I practice with Asalia and Osmin. So I ask Asalia, so Asalia, what vocabulary do you have? And then Asalia shares the vocabulary with the group. And then Asalia can ask Osmin, so Osmin, what vocabulary do you have in English? No le vayan a ir a decir, ¿cuáles palabras tienen ustedes? No, in English, what vocabulary do you have, all right? Yes? <laughs> or what vocabulary right. did you write? What vocabulary do you have? Or what vocabulary did you write in past, okay? Yeah? Do you have? Do you what have? vocabulary do you have? Exactly, exactly. You yeah. can ask, what vocabulary do you have? And then you share the list, okay? Yeah? No les permitan a sus compañeros hacer la pregunta en español, por favor. Okay? Yeah? yeah. Say yeah. in English, all right? In English, please. All right? Only English. Only English. That's right. Okay, so uh, let's go and share the vocabulary in groups. I will give you like two or three minutes, all right? So let's make... ¿Cómo es la, cómo es la pregunta, teacher? What vocabulary do you have? <laughs> or what vocabulary do you have? Or... What vocabulary did you write? Okay. Did you write? Write, like escribir. What vocabulary ah, did right. you write? Did you write? write? Did you write? Exactly. So are you ready? Yes. All right. So let's let's go to practice the vocabulary.
<laughs> well, in my case, um, my vocabulary is uh, is uh, diners. That it means comensales. Uh, gourmet food. That it means comida gourmet. Waiters. Uh, forks, knives, tables, chairs, restaurant, and good atmosphere. Buen atmosphere. How do you mean it is atmosphere? Buen, buen ambiente. Atmosphere. Oh, okay. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. Good atmosphere. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. In, in my case, um, for example, uh, uh, fish, meals, salad, Delicious. starter, seafood, cake, dish, dessert, uh, tips is is meeting is propina, is a wine, mm -hmm. uh, I know I I know can pronunciation. Potatoes. Uh, what is the pronunciation, teacher? Potatoes. 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 No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Potatoes. I confused the tomato. The same. The the song. Uh, potato. Yes. Okay. Uh, is that? Uh, just one question, Nelson. Is dessert or dessert? Um, is dessert. What do you think, uh, Dessert or dessert? I think. I think that is dessert because dessert, dessert is a desierto. Exactly, ¿verdad? exactly. Yeah. So the pronunciation, thank you, Michelle, is dessert. No, it's dessert. 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 Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. And you, Angela? In my, in my case, is a fork. Uh -huh. No. We need to take a note. No. No. Okay. No, you don't no, have to. to travel. You don't have no, to. No, don't take notes. No, no, but if your classmates uh, don't know a word, uh, just clarify. Okay, teacher. No. Uh, finish. Oh. Finish. What says the vocabulary? Uh, we have teacher. Teacher. Uh, uh, uh -huh. No, it's he, here. Hello, uh, hello. Sorry. Oh. No. I'm finished vocabulary. If, uh, you, I'm if, repeat. if you want. Uh, uh -huh. Share share the same vocabulary, and you can uh, say the vocabulary in Spanish if you want, so your classmates know the the meaning in English okay. and in Spanish. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I repeat, uh, vocabulary vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, only I. Uh... Four, dice, four, así. Four. Four, ten, not four. 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 <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? ¿Qué quieren decir? What do you mean? Eh, how do you say eh, cubiertos? How do you say? Oh, ten. Cubiertos. How do you say tenedor? Ah, tenedor. Four. Cubiertos, oh. Oh, let, me, let me remember, I have a long time not using the word cubiertos. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, think it's utility. I think it's utilities, but let, let me check. Okay, let me check. Uh -huh. uh, I know it, but I don't remember. I don't remember in this moment. It's not common in my vocabulary. Pero cubierto es for, Brad. No, for it is tenor. Yeah. Okay. I think it's okay. well... Well, for some, I don't, I don't remember very well, but let me check. <laughs> I have forgotten the word. 
מסים. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, hold on a second. Did you explain the vocabulary in English and in Spanish? English only. Only English. Only English. Only English. Okay. No, it's Spanish. All right, very good. <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> Only I'm speaking English teacher. <laughs> oh, that's, that's very good. That's excellent. I have one word here is cutlery. Mm -hmm. Cubiertos, but, but I think it's another word. This is okay. I mean, but there's another word, but I don't remember the word very well. If I remember in a moment, I will tell you, okay? But, but by now, let's say with uh, but cut, by using cutlery, okay? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so you finished? Yes. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you. Hello. Me quedé a medias, teacher. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. <laughs> more guess, time, more time. I'm, so, I'm sorry. The problem is that, good. sorry? You're good or respiration. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. Oh, yeah. The thing that I visited like four groups and then everybody was about to finish or they had finished. That's why I finished it. I'm sorry. It's okay, don't worry. We have more activities to practice. Don't worry. We have more activities to practice, okay? okay. Oh, let me see. English, yeah. English, right? <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, uh... No, teacher. Yeah, actually, I'm taking notes here, okay? Look. I'm taking notes. Okay, I'm taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, then let's go to the discussion. Um, questions for this part, and we have some questions, a big list of questions, okay? Well, not a big list, some questions, okay? Not a big list. Uh, the questions we have in this part are the following. Uh, question number one is, what is your favorite restaurant? So you say my favorite re restaurant is La Pizza Hut uh, or El Pollo Campero or I don't know. Okay, Roma's, Roma, or I don't know. Okay, Tony Roma, I don't know. Okay, what makes this restaurant a special place? Before, oh, this, teacher, before. This, <laughs> this question no, is very my, interesting, okay? What makes... No experience. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Porque dice no, que no, que no es ese restaurante, no. Ah, okay, not that restaurant, you can say. <laughs> okay, I will give you one example, okay? Imagine if you ask me, okay, Bernardo, what is your favorite uh, restaurant? I don't remember the, the name of, but it's, the restaurant is only in San Miguel. Okay, um, Bosna, is, is, the name is Bosna Cafe. So if you ask me, Bernardo, what is your favorite restaurant? And I say, oh, my favorite restaurant is Bosna Cafe. What makes this restaurant a special place for you? Oh, uh, this restaurant is special because I'm, uh, I had the first date with my wife in this place, okay? I had the first date with my wife in this, in this restaurant, okay? So that's why it's so special for me. What is more popular in your city? Takeout or delivery service? Well, in my city, a deliver, delivery service is more, um, is more popular. But maybe in San Salvador or in La Libertad, I don't know where you live, okay? Takeout is more popular. So what is the difference between takeout and delivery? What is the difference between takeout and delivery service? Takeout is when you and leave the house and visit a, a restaurant. Yeah. And delivery service is when the restaurant um, carry the your your food at your home. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. So any other opinion? 
What is the difference between takeout service and delivery service? Yeah, takeout is when I I was walking near a restaurant and I said oh, I have to take some food. And All right. I, I get in and I I order. And okay. Delivery is when I call by phone and I say I need this, and okay. they they send me. Okay. By, by a delivery. Okay, then buy a yeah, then, okay, very good. Yeah, okay. Uh, basically, a uh, takeout is like um, is what we call we also we also call this takeaway, takeout or takeaway. All right. So like you go to the restaurant, you buy some food, and you take it to your house personally. You buy the food in the restaurant, but you don't eat in the restaurant. You take the food to your house or to any other place, and you eat the food. Okay, and Delivery is that you call the restaurant and they deliver the food. They have delivery service, okay? They deliver the food to your house, okay? So that's a difference, a quick difference, okay? Good. So please, let's take a moment, like five minutes and answer the questions, okay? So the first two questions are personal. And then what is more popular in your country? Do you go to the restaurant and take out the food to your house or you call the restaurant? to deliver the food in a motorcycle or bicycle. Mientras tanto, les iré pasando asistencia, okay? So please uh, say present here or I'm here. Ada? Present. Adriana? Present. Ana Michelle? Present. Angela? Present, teacher. Darwin? Present, teacher. Flor? Flor? Present, teacher. Oh, okay. Gloria? Here. Joanna? Present. Very good. Lourdes? Here, teacher. Very good. Margarita. I'm here. Mayra. Mayra. Miguel. Present teacher. Nelson. Present teacher. Ofelia. 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 Here, teacher. Okay. Osmin. Present, teacher. Rafael. Present. Rosa. Present. Sandra. Sandra. Present, teacher. Very good. Jansi. Zulma. Present. Azalia. Present. Present. All right. Ingrid. Present teacher. And Susana. She's not connected, right? All right. Very good. So continue working, please.
Para los que estaban preguntándome cómo se decía cubiertos, you can say silverware. 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 All right. Okay. The thing is that cutlery, it's okay, but it's not, I don't feel it's very common. The most common is silverware. Okay. Silverware. Thank you, teacher. All right. Thank you, teacher. Okay, the same. When you finish, uh, please uh, go to reactions and raise your hand when you finish, okay? So I keep a record of the people who are like getting this done. Thank you. I can see Joanna and Atiana finished. Thank you very much for raising your hands. Okay, I'll give you one more minute, all right? One more minute. Uh, these questions are on the first uh, page of the manual, all right? So it's the first activity on the manual. Okay, the pronunciation of question number one is, what is your favorite restaurant? What is your favorite restaurant? Number two, what makes this restaurant a special place? What makes this restaurant a special place? And what is more popular in your city? Takeout or delivery service? What is more popular in your city? Popular, takeout or delivery service. All right, so we have these questions. Okay, so uh, do you have the questions? Did you write the questions? Or do you have the manual? Escribieron las preguntas o tienen el manual ahí cerca de ustedes? Yes, page number? Uh, it's the first uh, page of the manual. It's the first oh. page of the manual. Well, the first activity of unit number one, okay? Okay. Uh, just let me check something quickly here. Let me let me yes. tell you the page quickly. Sorry. Let me see. It's page number nine. Okay. Activity one. Let's start. Okay. Page nine, activity one. Let's start. You have the questions there. All right. Let's see. Um, okay, let's see. Um, Darwin. Okay, we are going to start. Are you ready? I am ready. All right, so what is your favorite restaurant? Okay, my favorite restaurant is Bocadito del Cielo. All right, oh my goodness. In, it's located <laughs> in Cartago, Costa Rica. Okay, very good. It sounds very romantic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's continue. 
uh, what makes this restaurant a special place for you or for everybody? The, the restaurant a special place, the food and the, your attention. Okay, uh, so in the, maybe you can say in the customer service. On the customer service. The customer service, all right. They have good attention, you can say. Uh -huh. Yes. All right, very good. Uh, what is more popular in your city, takeout or delivery service? In my city, more popular is delivery service. All right, thank you very much, Darwin. Thank you. Now select someone, please, and ask the questions. Uh, Atalia. All right, ask her. Okay, Atalia. Mm, yo sabía. <laughs> 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 uh, Astalia, what is your favorite restaurant? Known and all. Yes. Okay. And the second question is what makes this restaurant a special place? The variety and taste of the food. Okay. And the finally, what is more popular in your city? Take up or delivery service? Um, delivery service. Okay, thanks. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Can you repeat the answer for the second question, Asalia? Asalia, can you repeat the answer for the second question, please? The restaurant is a special place. Yeah. And me? Yeah, repeat the answer. Um... Pizza Hut. No, no, I mean, no, 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 I mean, repeat your answer for question number two. What makes this restaurant a special place? What answer do you have? What did you answer? Just read your answer. Solo lee tu respuesta. Just read your answer. The variety and taste of the food. All right, very good. The quality and the clean linens. All right, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, just one question. Is it a variety or variety? <laughs> variety or variety? Variety. Variety. What about the others? What do you think? Variety or variety? Variety. <laughs> variety. 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 Variety, yeah. Okay, it's variety. The pronunciation is variety. Okay, variety. 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 Okay, variety. Okay. All right, very good. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Okay, Asalia, can you ask Margarita the questions, please? Because she's raising her hand. And number one, what is your favorite restaurant? Margarita. My my favorite restaurant is Dolce, Dolce Vita. What make the restaurant a special place? Uh, the menu includes great plates of food. It is specialty is seafood and it is my favorite food. And the view towards the sea is wonderful and the design too for that reason is a special place for me what is more popular in your city day out or delivery service how long for the pandemic is very popular the delivery service but right now i suppose both are popular Okay, thank you very much. Okay, where is the restaurant, Margarita? Okay. Dolce where, Vita. Where is the restaurant? Is it uh, in La Libertad or? In La Libertad. 
All right, very good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Margarita. Margarita, can you select the last participant, please? A, a boy, all right? A boy. Um, we have Nelson, we have uh, Miguel, Osmin, because Darwin Nelson. participated. Nelson, all right. Ask Nelson the questions, please. Mm -hmm. Nelson, what is your favorite restaurant? Uh, in my case, um, the restaurant favorite is La Pampa Argentina because uh, I like the meat. Uh, what makes this restaurant a special place? Um, the restaurant place special is uh, Pupuseria Abi. He saying the pupuseria part, party only chain name in the planet the render. Uh, okay, sorry. Nelson, uh, yeah. you, you said that your favorite restaurant is La Pampa Argentina, right? Yes. So the question is, why is La Pampa Argentina um, uh, very uh, special, special for you? Uh -huh. A special uh -huh. restaurant. Okay. Um, and we... And sometimes, uh, and especially is uh, Pampa Argentina, the Santa Elena. All right, but, but why is it a special for you? Why is, I mean, a ah. special place for you? The reason. The yes. reason. Uh, because in, in my, my birthday, in my son, my, my daughter, yeah. my daughter is a, a celebration in the place. All right. Okay. Very good. Now, so you celebrate in La Pampa, Argentina, you, the birthdays. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Continue, Margarita. Thank you, Nelson. Okay. The last question. Um, what is more popular in your city? Take over or delivery service? Uh, I think is a delivery service. Okay, thank you very much for your participations. Now, please, everybody, everybody, go to reactions and let's, let's give participants a heart, okay? Let's give them a heart. Let's give them a heart, okay? Saying congratulations, good job, all right? So thank you for your participations, for the people who participated, okay? Uh, your participations are very appreciated, so thank you very much. All right, uh, now let's go to the next uh, activity, all right? Uh, so in the next activity, uh, we have a conversation, okay? So you know that every content, we have a conversation, okay? Every content, we have a conversation. So this, there's no difference in this one. So we have the, the conversation here. This conversation is a bit more complex, a bit more complicated, all right? So please, listen carefully to the pronunciation. The first time, let's pay attention to pronunciation, okay? So listen, please. Listen carefully. So the so Luigi has a pizza restaurant, right? But he wants to have more customers, okay? So let's listen to the conversation. So Luigi starts. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customers. But cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decorations than this place. We also need more room for more tables. And we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservations for regular customers and we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house, all right? I'm laughing because in the end, he, he, he adds the cheese and the sauce anyways, all right? Listen again, please. Listen again to the pronunciation. Okay, Luigi starts. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customers. But cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decorations than this place. 
we also need more room for more tables. And we have to hire, hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservations for regular customers and we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. All right, this conversation is on page number nine on your manual, okay? I repeat, the conversation is on page number nine on your manual, all right? So I will give you like three or four minutes. So please, in three or four minutes, practice the conversation. Okay, and don't say I finished. Practice, 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 and don't stop practicing, okay? When I take you out, cuando lo saque de la sesión de grupos, ahí sí pueden dejar de practicar. But please, don't stop practicing, okay? If you finish, repeat it, repeat it, switch roles, cambien roles, and practice again. All right, so I will give you like three or four minutes. All right, so it's time to practice the conversation. Any question? No? No, okay, let's no. go to practice the conversation that is on page number nine, okay? So for this one, we are going to practice in pairs, okay? Let me see, I have 22, so I will make 11 pairs. All right, let's go to practice. O sea, yo estoy en lo último. El teacher me sí. encontró platicando en español. Ok, entonces, practice, practice. Yes. Ok. Teacher, eh, lléveme me cacha. You, Angie. <risa> teacher, no se nos quita la maña de, de hablar en español. Try to practice in English. Yes, I know, teacher. At least what you can uh, say. Okay. I am tired, very tired. Eh, eh, le, le estaba comentando. <laughs> I, was, I was telling her, you can say, I was telling her. I was telling her. Yeah, yes. le estaba contando, I was telling her. Was yeah, it's okay. Her. Just try to practice, okay? In English. Yes, okay. okay. Yes. Adita. Um, you, 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 okay? you, you start? Okay. You start. You start. Yes. Me? Yes. Okay. No. Uh, maybe. Uh, no, no, no. Yes. Yes. Ahí empieza. Yes. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customer. But cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi. I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration that this place. We also need more room for more tables. And we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, not the super is the sauce. 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 It's not the cheese 
or sauce, Luigi. We have to the offer table reservation for regular customer. And this is better than preparing. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decorations than this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, uh, this, the secret is the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for, re for regular customers and we don't receive the cloud orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the, the new specialty of the house. Okay. Maybe we need to add more pepper to take out orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Okay. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customers. But cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers and we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with us. Yes, Carla, you are a genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Okay. Bueno, ya nos están llamando. Ya no alcanzamos. Okay. Thank you, Susan. Thanks to you. Bye. Bye. Okay, everyone. Um, well, I just have a question, all right? I, I just have a question, okay? If you have the answer, if you have the answer, please go to reactions and raise your hand, all right? And you give me the answer, all right? I repeat, I have a question. In case you have the answer for my equation, go to reactions and raise your hand, all right? The, the, the question is, who do they need to hire? Who do they need to hire? Who do they need to hire? Who? Okay, let's see if Rosa has the answer, I think. Okay, Rosa, who do they need to hire? They need to hire someone to make the restaurant. <laughs> exactly, a new restaurant. <laughs> no, no, they, they need to hire a new person or someone to make deliveries. Not a new person, someone to make deliveries. Exactly. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, who do you think? Another question. Okay. So again, if you have the answer, go to reactions and raise your hand as Rosa did. Okay. Very good. Um, second question, who do you think is right, Luigi or Carla? Who is right, Luigi or Carla? <laughs> Anna Michelle? Carla. Carla is right, okay, that, that's, yes. yes, definitely, right? Uh, Luigi is, I mean, he's like, no, he, Carlita. he yeah. only thinks in, in the, uh, he only thinks about the ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so for you, Ana Michelle, uh, Carla has the best solutions for the problem. Yes. Yes, definitely. All right, that's excellent. That's very good. Okay, uh, next, what is uh, or what are some of Carla's 
recommendations. What are some of Carla's suggestions or recommendations? What are some uh, recommendations or suggestions Carla makes? All right, let's see Sulma. Tell me one recommendation only. Um, have, no, offer table reservation for regular customer. Okay, that's one. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see uh, Lourdes. Do you have another one? Do you have another recommendation, Lourdes? Um, yes. Yeah. Um, the other recommendation for Carla is they need more room and more tables. That's right. They need more room, more, more room or more space for more tables. Okay. In this case, more room is more space. Okay. For more tables. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, do we have more suggestions or that's it? Other, um, they need to hire a person. They need to hire a person, okay, very good. There is one more recommendation, okay? There is one more recommendation, not for you, Lourdes. Lourdes, not for you. Another, okay. for, uh, thank you very much, Lourdes. There is, we have one more recommendation. They, what they is need recite, take out orders. They need? need? Recite, recite, take out orders. That's right, they need to receive take out orders okay or to have this service they need to have the takeout orders service okay very good and they need beautiful decorations too okay they need beautiful decorations in the in the restaurant okay very good so thank you very much for taking the time to practice and thank you for answering my questions okay very good now listen uh individually individually right not in groups or in pairs individually take a moment and complete uh, these sentences with the information from the conversation, okay? Complete these sentences with information from the conversation, please, okay? These ones. Activity number three, okay? So go read the conversation and complete the sentences using information from the conversation. Go, please. You can write the answers on your notebook, okay? If you have the photocopy, you can complete on the photocopy, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready or not yet? Yes, teacher. 
Yes, you are. Yes. All right, very good. Yes. Who wants to share uh, number one? Number one? Who wants to share it? Who wants to read number one? Me. All right, Sulma. Sulma. Cheese is better than pepperoni. Okay, thank you. That's excellent. Cheese is better than pepperoni. Okay, better than. Thank you very much. Asalia, number two. The restaurant next door than or pizza. Repeat, please. The restaurant next door is bigger than or pizzeria. That's right. Thank you very much. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. Thank you, Asalia. Mayra, number three. They have more beautiful decorations than this place. Than. Okay, done. Than this place. Okay, thank you very much. They have more beautiful decorations than this place. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, just quickly, I want to project okay, the conversation again. And I want to ask you, um, uh, do you see new vocabulary in the conversation for you? Better than, bigger better, than. Bigger than, better than, what else? Higher. Higher, all right, what else? Do you see any other new word? Take, take out. Take out orders. Take out orders, all right. Any the other? Sauce. sauce. That's sauce. right, the sauce. sauce. The sauce, where is the <laughs> sauce? Let me see. I don't know why when I, when I hear sauce, that makes me laugh. All right. All right. Where is it? Little, we know, oh. know the secret in, in the sauce. Yeah. The sauce, all right. The sauce. What else? More cheese and more sauce, right? That will be the specialty of the house. So uh, basically, higher, okay, higher is to contract. Okay, higher is to contract a person, okay, contract. So it's synonym to contract. Uh, the secret is the sauce. Sauce is what you make out of tomatoes, for example, okay? With tomatoes, you can make sauce, okay? Yeah, so you blend the tomatoes and all different vegetables and you make a sauce. Okay, what is sauce in Spanish? Salsa. 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 That's right. Salsa. 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 Uh, take out orders. Uh, take out orders is like you buy the food in a restaurant and then you eat the food in another place. Okay. You buy the food and you eat the food in another place. Okay. So that's take out orders. Okay. Very good. And well, a bigger than is like. Okay, we are going to wait for this, okay? Because this will be explained in a moment, okay? This is like comparing, okay, bigger. So it's saying that the, the other restaurant is bigger Tan than grande, our pizzeria. Grande. Mas grande, okay, it's bigger. Mas grande. Mas grande, it's bigger. More beautiful bigger. is like, more beautiful decorations, right? I mean, better, sorry, better than. Better, what is better? Mejor. 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 No, no, mejor. 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 No, mejor. Okay, mejor. Mejor no. Mucho mejor. <laughs> no, no, you, you only say mejor. Es mejor. Mejor, okay. Mejor. But cheese is better than pepperoni, okay. El queso es mejor que ah, el pepperoni. Mejor que el pepperoni. Exactly, okay. So better is mejor, all right. Very good. So this is the new vocabulary, right? Okay, now we are going to make another activity in breakout rooms, okay. So please listen. In activity four, you have some definitions and you have some vocabulary on the left column, okay? You have a specialty, buffet, a book a table, take out and delivery, okay? So the idea is that you put the number in the correct definition, okay? I repeat, the idea is that you put the number in the correct definition, okay? So listen, listen, please. We are going to go to breakout rooms first match the vocabulary with the definitions. Second, practice the vocabulary and the definitions. For example, okay, Rosa can say the word and Darwin can say the definition. Lourdes can say the word and Ophelia can say the definition, okay? So to practice the vocabulary, okay? So I repeat, first, match the words with the definitions. Second, 
practice the vocabulary with the definitions. Okay, any questions? Puede poner la pantalla nuevamente. Yes, of course. Yeah, but this is on page number nine. Okay, this is on page number nine. But I can project. Okay, this vocabulary is on page number nine. Okay. Thank you. All right, no problem. Okay, are you ready? Yes. yes. All right, let's go to practice then. Okay, let me make the groups again because I need different groups. All right, let's go to practice. Angela, what happened? Yes. Prendicious place in a public area where people serve themselves. Dam Silvis. Dam Silvis. Dam Silvis. 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 Okay. <laughs> themselves. 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 Them themselves. 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 Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Book a table. You can call a restaurant. No, no. Book a table. Maybe okay. to make a reservation at a restaurant. Para reservation. Okay. Yes. Yeah. To make reservation yes. at a restaurant. Yes. Yes. Okay. To make a reservations. Uh, take out uh, a package meal that you can eat away from the restaurant. Yes. Uh, delivery is the first definition. You can call a restaurant or order food and they take Take it to your home. Mm -hmm. Okay, and hello, teacher. We finished the exercise number four. Sorry, hello. So, and did you practice the vocabulary? Yeah. Mm. Yes. Mm. No, no, mm. the practice. No. <laughs> All right. So, uh, if you finish, uh, take turns practicing. Okay. Maybe Flora can say a word, and Lourdes or Joanna can say the definition. Okay. The definition uh, okay. Uh, you have. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, who is start? Mm -hmm. You, Lourdes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay. A specialty. You can Ooh. call a special. Mm -hmm. Specialty. A dish that is extremely good in a particular restaurant. Yes. Buffet. To make a reservation. Uh, buffet. Yes. Different dishes placed in a public area where people serve themselves. Yes. Book a table. To make a reservation at a restaurant. Oh. Hi, teacher. Teacher. Hello. Teacher. Hello. Hello. Did you finish? <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. I, I, I confuse you. <laughs> you are confused with which one? Con cual? Yes. Uh, uh, to make a second to make a reservation a restaurant is take out. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Uh, confundo take out con delivery. Take out. I remember uh, take out in take out you take the food to another place and you eat it. Okay, you buy the food. Okay, you buy the food. And you don't, you don't eat the food in the restaurant. You take the food to another place to eat, okay? And in delivery, you call the restaurant and a motorcycle mm. goes to your house and they give you the food, okay? Yeah? Okay, it says that first. Delivery is first. I don't know. <laughs> That's what you have to decide. Eso es lo que decir. <laughs> That's what you have to decide. Number number five, delivery five. is number one. Let me see. Delivery, you can call our restaurant or the food, and they take it to your home. Yeah, that's the best answer. It's yeah, it's it's delivery. The best answer. Uh huh. Exactly. Five. Okay. How did you say buffet? You say uh, buffet. Okay. Buffet. Uh, okay. Yeah, buffet. 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 Okay. okay, so did you finish? No. Yes, kind of. No. <laughs> You're still no. working. Okay, continue, please. Continue. Yes. And number number two. Next said, number two, yes. Next. Uh, yes. Number two, yes. Different dishes placed in a public area. What is, what is the word? What is the word? Uh, what buffet. is the word? Buffet. Buffet. Okay, okay. Buffet. Go ahead. Este, different dishes placed in a public area where people serve themselves. Okay. Next. Next, este, book a table. Okay. Make a reservation at an, a restaurant. Okay, excellent. Next. Uh, take out um, a package meal that you can eat away from the restaurant and delivery. And the last one, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, you can call a restaurant, order food, and they take it to your home. Okay. Uh, Me? No? Okay. Okay, okay. Nelson. Nelson. okay. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Special needs. Specialty. 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 Uh, a dish that is extremely go good is particular restaurant. Buffet. Different dish place in the in the public area where people serve and serve. Bus table. 
to make a reservation and a restaurant. They call a package meal that you can eat away from the restaurant. Delivery. You can call a resta restaurant or food and they take it your home. Is that? Okay, uh, Rose, you're the last okay. one. Okay. Oh, we don't have Talk more time. <laughs> <laughs> Go back. <laughs> Okay, everyone. So I hope everyone finished and I hope everyone practiced. Okay, uh, so just quickly, uh, let me give you uh, the pronunciation of the words and the definitions, okay? So for the first one, uh, the pronunciation is specialty, okay? Specialty, specialty. For the second one, I was listening to everybody and everybody says buffet. Buffet. The pronunciation is not buffet in English. The pronunciation is buffet. Okay. Buffet. 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 Okay. The letter T doesn't sound and you say buffet. Buffet. Okay. Yeah. Buffet. The next one is book a table. Book Books a table. table. Mm -hmm. Take a out. Table. Okay. Take out and delivery. Delivery. Now the definitions, okay? I will read, so you, when you give the answers, uh, you pronounce correctly. For this definition, you say, uh, you can call a restaurant, order food, and they take it to your home. You can call a restaurant, order food, and they take it to your home. And don't give me the answers yet. I'm just pronouncing, okay? I'm just pronouncing, okay? Don't give me the answers yet. La respuesta todavía no, it's okay. Okay, don't give me the answer. Right. Okay, just listen sorry, to the sorry. just listen to the pronunciation, okay? And then you give the answers in a moment, in a moment. To make a reservation at a restaurant, to make a reservation at a restaurant. A packaged meal that you can eat away from the restaurant, or you can say eat away. A packaged meal that you can eat away from the restaurant. A packaged meal that you can eat away from the restaurant. Different dishes placed in a public area, public, public area, where people serve themselves. Different dishes placed in a public area where people serve themselves, themselves. A dish that is extremely good in a particular restaurant, extremely a dish that is extremely good in a particular restaurant. Okay, now you can give me the answers. Okay, who wants to give answer number one? Number one. Number one? Yes. Delivery. Delivery. Okay, okay, listen. The word, <laughs> the word and the definition. The word and the definition, okay? So, uh, number one? You can Volunteers. Call okay, okay, Osmin. So please, uh, so please, if you want you to give call. the answer, raise your hand, okay? Raise your hand, go to reactions and raise your hand, okay? Osmin, number one, quickly. Okay, you, you, can, you can call a restaurant, order yes. food, and they take it to your home. What is the word? Delivery. Delivery, exactly, okay? Yes. So number one, uh, okay. So the, the first phrase is delivery, okay? Uh, I think it's better if we go in, in order, okay? A specialty and you give the answer, okay? So Osmin gave the definition for delivery. Specialty. Volunteers? Specialty. Okay, Margarita, specialty. Go to reactions and raise your hand. Go to reactions and raise your hand. Margarita, specialty. A specialty. A dish that is extremely good in a particular restaurant. Thank you very much. Okay, that's very good. Uh, Miguel, uh, buffet. Okay, buffet. Okay, teacher. Uh, buffet. Uh, different dishes placed in a public area where people serve themselves. Okay, that's excellent. Very good. Okay, let's listen to Rosa with the next. Book a table. Book a table. Book a table to make a reservation at a restaurant. 
Okay, that's awesome. Thank you very much. And Anna Michelle, uh, take out. Okay, take out uh, is a package meal that you can eat away from the restaurant. Okay, thank you very much. Like a hamburger, for example, right? Sometimes you go to, to buy the food and then you eat it away from the restaurant, okay? Not in the restaurant. Okay, thank you very much for your answers, okay? Um, thank you very much. So let me pass the attendance quickly here. Let me pass the attendance quickly. Ada? Present. No se vayan todavía porque no ha terminado la clase, okay? So don't leave yet. Ada? Present teacher. All right, Adriana. Present. Ana Michelle. Present. Angela. Present teacher. Darwin. Present teacher. Very good. Flor. Present. Thank you. Gloria. Here. Very good. Joanna. Present. Okay, very good. Now you are not nervous, Joanna. What? Now you are not nervous anymore. No. <laughs> okay, very good. It's good to know, right? It's good to know that you are not nervous anymore. Okay, thanks oh. God. All right. So welcome again, Joanna. Bienvenida otra vez a la clase. Welcome again to the class. Thank you. All right. Lourdes? Here, teacher. All right. Uh, Margarita? I'm here. Very good. Mayra? Present. Miguel. Present teacher. Nelson. Present teacher. Ophelia. Here teacher. All right. Osmin. Here teacher. Rafael. Present. Very good. Rosa. Present. Sandra. Present teacher. Jansi. Sulma. Present. Azalia. Asalia. Present. Ah, pensé que, ya era, pensé que ya era good night. I thought it was good night already. <laughs> Hoy sí se hizo real el good night, dije yo. <laughs> no, teacher, estoy triste. Oh, my God. Está goodness. triste, se enojada. Asalia oh, está triste. No, it's okay. Don't feel sad. We will <laughs> fix the problem, I promise. All right? Ingrid. Present. And Susana. Present teacher. Okay, Susana, thank you. What time did you get connected, Susana? I think at nine. At nine. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, all right, just before you go, antes de que nos son a diez y ahora no quiero quitarle mucho, mucho tiempo, I don't want to take too much time from you. Okay, mm -hmm. antes de que nos vayamos, um, bueno, mayormente para Ivana, ¿verdad? Que, que se nos agrega en este... En este módulo, los demás creo que ya todos nos conocíamos, ¿verdad? Eh, solamente recalcar siempre lo de las tareas de la semana, que vayan trabajando día a día, ¿ok? Para que no se les acumule demasiado trabajo. En este caso, la primera sección va a llegar hasta el miércoles de la siguiente semana, ¿ok? Así que antes de la sesión del miércoles, ya debe estar completada la sección de la semana 1, ¿ok? Todas las tareas de la semana 1, de, de la semana 1, perdón, Deben estar completadas, ¿ok? Eh, ok. Así que eh, debemos ir avanzando, que no se nos acumule el, el trabajo. No sé si tienen alguna duda antes de que terminemos la clase. Do you have any question or doubt? Or everything is ok? Teacher, tal vez no es de la clase, pero... Adelante. Me, me gustaría que, que de verdad tiene el problema de Azalia, ya que ella fue de las primeras personas... Que, se, que enviaron sus documentos. Entonces, es como muy irresponsable de parte de la que hayan hecho eso. No es de la pero considero de que usted nos haga ese eh, Sí, entiendo, Gloria. Sí, yo, yo, voy, a, yo voy, a, voy, a, voy, a, voy a preguntar, ok, a ver qué se puede hacer. Eh, a mí me gustaría hacer algo, pero realmente, a mí realmente, eh, los grupos ya me los han hechos, o sea, ya me dicen, aquí está su grupo, 
ese grupo es el que va a tener tantos participantes, ¿ok? Eh, pero sí, yo me comprometo a hacer la consulta, a ver qué fue lo que pasó y yo les puedo tener una respuesta, a ver qué me dicen o si no, que se comuniquen directamente con, con Azalia en sí. este caso, ¿ok? Pero sí me comprometo a hacerlo, por supuesto, el día de mañana, ¿ok? Claro, gracias. Ok, no problem, it's ok. Ok, so everybody, uh, who has the one-on-one -on -one session today? Ada, right? Me, teacher. Ok, so uh, I don't know if you have any other questions. No questions? No, so far, so good. No, no Everything ok. Ok, everybody, it was good to see you again. Fue bueno, fue bueno verles otra vez. It was good to see you again. And I hope to see you tomorrow, next week, the next week, and until November. Okay? Thank you. All right, good night. Please, please. Okay, goodbye. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Okay, good night. No, please. <laughs> Good night, teacher. Good Everybody. night, Natalia. Good night. night. Okay, Ada, so this space is for you. I know it's the first day. Sé que es el primer día, pero algo debe haber. You must have something, okay? Hey. No, teacher, la verdad es que lo que usted dice es el primer día y entonces este, solo tener la expectativa de lo que nos espera y pues alguna recomendación que se me pueda dar este, para este módulo, ¿verdad? Porque sí, este es mucho más avanzado de lo que estábamos haciendo, ¿verdad? Entonces, yeah. este, eso. Sí, prácticamente en el vocabulario de la conversación se pudo ver que ya no es una conversación así con líneas chiquitas, sino que las oraciones ya son... Ya son largas. Así es. Sí. Así es. Eh, sí, basic, prácticamente el nivel va a ir como subiendo un poquito a medida vayamos avanzando. Los, los temas gramaticales van a ir avanzando un poquito, el vocabulario. Obviamente es nivel intermedio, entonces va a subir un poquito el, el nivel, ¿verdad? Eh, quizás uh -huh. eh, solo siempre lo, 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 lo que se espera de ustedes, ¿verdad? Compromiso, mayormente compromiso en todos los aspectos, en tareas, en practicar el vocabulario, porque no hay mejor manera que practicar para aprender. Si no practicamos en inglés es como que no hayamos hecho, hecho nada, ¿verdad? Puedo saber e entender la clase perfectamente, pero si queda ahí, en la clase y en el trabajo de la plataforma, es como que no haya hecho nada. ¿Ok? Así, Así es. que es este, práctica. Hay un hay una ejercicio, me acuerdo que usted lo dijo en algún momento, aunque el teacher que tuvimos al principio nos lo recomendó, pero créame, bueno, usted más que nadie sabe que cuando uno ya está trabajando es este, en la noche viene uno y solo a sentarse y hacer, entonces, yeah, pero know. yo no me acuerdo muy bien cómo era que él, él y usted en este caso no, nos recomendó que hiciéramos, eran tres oraciones que se podían hacer al día, pero no me acuerdo cuáles eran las, o sea, para practicar el vocabulario, ¿verdad? Y hacer las tres preguntas, este, pero no me acuerdo, le digo. Sí, no. hay varias formas, eh... La, una, de, una de las mejores formas es prácticamente escribir la palabra, ¿ok? Tener como un cuadernito, así. Yo siempre cargo este cuadernito eh, para hacer apuntes de cualquier cosa, pero puede ser un cuadernito, así como este chiquito, una libretilla de vocabulario en el cual escriben la palabra en inglés, por ejemplo. Si, si ya manejan definiciones, pueden ser definiciones en inglés o puede ser un sinónimo en inglés fácil. O una traducción, si no se manejan bien todavía lo de los sinónimos y lo de las definiciones, ¿ok? Y luego escribir algunos tres ejemplos con esa palabra. Eso es muy bueno porque aplican la palabra y pueden incrementar el vocabulario porque lo aplican en una oración, usan más vocabulario aparte de la palabra. Esa ajá, es una sí, forma. Es que, yo, ajá. Adelante, adelante. No, sí, es que yo me, es que les digo, no me acuerdo eso de que primero se ponía, puede, puede hacer algo o para, algo así era la, lo que se tenía que hacer. Uh -huh. Pero no me acuerdo cómo era el ejercicio en sí, pero me acuerdo que eran tres, tres, tres oraciones las que se escribía de cada, porque decía, decía, no decía usted también, era la palabra y para lo que se usa, este, uh -huh. esa palabra, o sea. La aplicación. No sé. Ajá. Sí, no sí. me acuerdo cómo. Entonces yo lo que quería era ver, porque yo ando viendo por aquí unas, unas páginas, otras cosas así, 
practico de otra forma, pero después me, me he puesto a pensar que quizás sí sea más, mejor método de estar haciendo eso, pero no me acuerdo, la verdad, no me acuerdo cómo sí. era la... Sí, realmente creo que fue del otro maestro entonces, porque sí, no me acuerdo de una forma específica. Sí, la que yo les daba era esta de ejemplos, eh, la, la, que, la que le expliqué ahorita. Y también está la de imágenes, ajá, que, que uh -huh. andaban, lo, lo que les sugería, que andaban unas tarjet, tarjetitas. Es, uh -huh. es un poquito más trabajoso, pero yo creo que se puede hacer tarjetitas. En la parte frontal de la tarjetita, eh, la palabra, y a veces uh -huh. atrás la traducción o la definición. Y ejemplos, Ajá, ando la tarjetita, la miro, la miro atrás y estoy como dándole vuelta para, para familiarizarme hasta que profundizo la palabra. Ajá. La palabra, sí. Ah, ok. Ajá. Sí, teacher. Ese es otro método, sí. Y Ajá. sí lo voy a practicar. Porque la imagen no puede, no necesariamente tiene que ser una tarjeta específica. Puede ser de un periódico, algo, un Correctamente. cuadro, una foto. Así es, así ¿verdad? es. No, no tiene que ser una definición. Eh, si es para incrementar vocabulario, la actividad que hicimos al principio de escribir imágenes funciona mucho. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, tengo una imagen, la veo y escribo vocabulario acerca de esa imagen, el vocabulario que yo sé, estoy practicando el vocabulario que ya me he aprendido también, puede ser del periódico, por ejemplo. Veo el sí. periódico, hay una imagen y escribo tanto vocabulario como puedo de esa imagen, hago una lista de vocabulario. De esa manera ah, se, puede, se puede mejorar el vocabulario también, si es para vocabulario en este caso. Sí, ok. Uh -huh. Vaya, teacher. Eso sí, la verdad es que era lo que, como le digo, el impulso, ¿verdad? Uno se tiene conforme va pasando y el cansancio es lo que va bajando los ánimos, pero en este caso vamos a intentar que eso no suceda. Sí, sí, al menos, sí, sí, yo siento que se puede tomar una rutina al menos de unos cinco minutos diarios, que no es la, la, el, como el bastante tiempo, pero yo creo que se puede, se puede hacer. Se puede hacer. Que se puede hacer uh -huh. correctamente. Ok, teacher. Eso sí. es. Era okay. lo que yo quería, ¿verdad? Ok, perfecto. Muchísimas pues, gracias. Bueno, cualquier y cosa es un estamos. Gusto volverlo a tener, teacher. Hoy. Igualmente, igualmente. Es un bueno, gusto teacher. estar con ustedes otra vez. Claro, gracias, teacher. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Eso es todo, ¿verdad? Buenas noches. Ok, good night. Mm.